Vincentian broadcaster and journalist Jerry George does not buy the explanation from Prime Minister Dr. Timothy Harris, who recently earned the ire of supporters of the opposition National Democratic Party, NDP, in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Mr. George was speaking Tuesday on SK Newsline's sister radio station, Voice of the Caribbean Radio. During the program, Let's Talk, St. Kitts and Nevis. Do, do you think that um, his explanation, um, in other words, do you buy his explanation or is it a case of political naivety, for lack of a better term? Nobody buys it. But, I mean, having said all of that, I mean, people make mistakes and I want to accept that fact. But, um, but nobody buys the explanation, quite frankly. Um, it just does not add up. If you are somebody's guest and you need to see them, it is the host who should make um, sacrifice to see the guests. The host should accommodate the guests, not the guests going out of their way to accommodate the host. It doesn't work like that. But let me tell you what the big issue is, because all of that has happened. And I see it happening with a lot of our leaders and stuff. Our leaders seem to want to travel around with, with either without public relations support or protocol support. And I have a problem with that. Our leaders must understand that they're leaders of the nations and when they go about, they should work with the appropriate staffing to help them. I'm sure if he had a second person to say, should I do this? They would have cautioned him. But most of our leaders go about the place they walk with no PR support, they walk with no protocol people, and so they run into problems. Prime Minister Harris, while in St. Vincent, recently was photographed on the stage with Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez at a Unity Labour Party meeting. He claimed he needed to see Prime Minister Gonzalez urgently, and the only time and place he could do so was during the ULP's meeting on the platform. NDP supporters were not happy with this because they supported Dr. Harris along with the then leadership of the NDP when Harris's Team Unity movement was in opposition and was protesting the non-tabling of the motion of no confidence in 2014. Team Unity was on the ground in St. Vincent and the Grenadines and had the support of NDP supporters who protested outside the location of a CARICOM heads of government meeting to get regional support for their protest. Mr. George, in Tuesday's interview on Voice of the Caribbean Radio, said NDP supporters were really angry with what transpired recently, and that it is clear Harris made a mistake. So it is accepted that Mr. Harris said he made an error, and so people want to go on from there. Because at the end of the day in the Caribbean, we're a small space and we have to work together. So it's not that anybody did not want to work together. But I believe that when, when our leaders or whoever makes these errors, they need, it needs to be brought to them, to their attention, for mm. them to understand the gravity of what has happened. Mr. George interviewed Dr. Harris after the incident where they also discussed allegations of nepotism. In that interview, Dr. Harris reiterated the point that all his family members were hired under the Labour administration. The Labour Party claims there have been new appointments and promotions of Harris's family members since he became Prime Minister. Mr. George said in the Voice of the Caribbean radio interview that he does not believe Harris's explanation. And, and there's a very solid biblical position on this. All things are lawful but all things are not expedient so people go down on the road oh so what is lawful is this and that but all things are not expedient because those are the very things that sometimes appear lawful and i can do it that leave you into deeper trouble the expediency of the matter so did i believe him no did i think because you come from a big family and so many members of your family in a leading position is a good thing for a country a small country no the full interview with mr george can be heard on demand at www.voiceofthecaribbean.net in voc on demand i am andre huey for skn newsline